Secondary dominance. Borrowing chords makes life more interesting and your composition assignments more complex. This first sequence is completely diatonic to the key of G major. The idea is that you'll sing along in sol fa. Do mi so mi do one major la do mi do la six minor re fa la fa re two minor t re fa re t seven diminished mi so ti so mi three minor do mi so mi do one major fa la do la fa four major re fa la fa re two minor so ti Re ti so life major mi so ti so mi three minor la do mi do la six minor ti re fa re ti seven diminished do. The second sequence includes the secondary dominant triads. Do mi so mi do one major la di mi di la five of two. Re fa la fa re two minor T re fi re T five of three Mi so ti so mi three minor Do mi so mi do five of four Fa la do la fa four major Re fi la fi re five of five So ti re ti so five major Mi si ti si mi five of six La do mi do la six minor T re fa re T seven diminished do. Reminder that there was no secondary dominant going to chord seven because it's impossible to resolve one dominant function chord onto another chord which is also a dominant function. So you need to resolve a secondary dominant usually onto chord major or minor chord. These are secondary dominant triads. You can also have secondary dominant seventh chords and additional secondary dominant function chords such as diminished triads and diminished seventh chords can function in this manner. So there'll be several more videos for you to practice. The idea would be that you practice it in solfa and then in letter names in G and then perhaps in solfa and in letter names in other keys with the sound muted, just following along with the visuals. Good luck.